probably I made very advanced statements in 1969 and through the 70s. And the exciting thing about the period of now that we're living in is it's almost like the statements that I made where the print was the whole statement for the dress is in fact what is now the rage. So it's caught up with me and I have to stay on my toes. The future of fashion really has no boundaries. New technology in fashions, it's made print even more important because they can make it more instant. It's made print a very reachable thing which a lot of people can aspire to. So it's quite fabulous seeing print over everything. I see print over other people's clothes. I see my prints on my ranges of sheets and pillowcases for Ashley Wilde. I see ideas on my necklaces, you know, so that all of these things get reinterpreted, but probably because of the fad of being able to put pattern on things by means of computerization. Every project I do is a challenge, either whether I'm going to make a totally new look for a bed, for whether I'm going to work out how to put pattern and make a necklace look like Zandro's and that I want to wear it all the time. I think it's very important always to meet the challenge and think, how would I wear it? How would I get people to wear it? How I like to look? how I would dress someone else, so that every, every project's a challenge, but it's very exciting. I think whatever the future looks like, we have to take a less jaded view. We have to say, you can't give up. However bad it gets, you can't give up. You take value in your friendships. You take value in the fact that you want to, I want to get up in the morning and design, maybe there'll be less demand so I have more time to design. Mm -hmm.